Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Rezac at CM Trading. Today is July 31st, 2019, and today is Wednesday morning. So looking at the major economic events of the day, starting at 2.30 South African time, out of Canada, we have monthly GDP numbers coming out. Uh, this is relatively somewhat of an important number if there are any surprises and i do expect the markets to move but otherwise i don't think that there's going to be much movement but you do want to know that the number is coming out now later in today okay the big event of the week or one of the three big events of the week fomc funds rate coming out at eight o'clock south african time markets are really waiting for this number okay across the board whether we're talking about forex symbols the the indices or the stocks, they're really awaiting this number. So really very important that you guys know about this number. Now, the Forex symbols, British pound is pretty much dead, okay? Not really bouncing after being toggled down yesterday. Aussie dollar bounces at support. While the euro was the first one to bounce, and that was the one that I mentioned to you yesterday, that I expected that one to bounce the most if it was going to bounce, and it looks like it's going to continue bouncing. Uh, so that's something to look at later today. Now, looking at the Dow Jones, really in a very tight range, okay, between the 21, 27, 100, 27, 200 ish level, and really awaiting the funds rates, okay? So just be aware of that. Now, looking at commodities, gold ascending wedge, okay, is setting up. We're going to take a look at that. And oil rallies to resistance on a dip in um, the inventories there. So we'll take a look at that as well. Now, lastly, looking at the stocks, Apple is set to report earnings today. Okay, it should come out around uh, in the a.m., around 3.30 South African time. So just that you know, it's South African time in the afternoon. In New York time, it's 8.30 in the morning. So just be aware of it, okay? The Apple has been trading tremendously over the past year, um, especially with the massive rebound that it has had. And it's w the largest company in the world. Okay, so definitely has some indication about which way it's going. Um, and so it's really a, a major bellwether that's coming out. But let's take a look at the markets and we see what we can expect from today's trading. So we're taking a look here at the Euro USD. This is not a massive bounce but it's a bounce nonetheless we're trading right now at 1160 and just slowly but surely trickling upwards okay after not breaking down around this area okay while some of the other uh currency pairs broke down in this area specifically the gbp and the aussie dollar so with that said i do expect it to bounce even further maybe to hit the 180 ish level but again we are at a very tight range okay not a massive you know i wouldn't get into this with big volume okay or very aggressively because we are trading in the summer and you could tell that the volatility is actually very very low now looking at the gbp usd we bounced a little bit yesterday, but not really much. Okay, we we even toggled down a little bit further to yesterday, just a little bit. Um, so we're really, for all intents and purposes, on our dead lows and hovering through all-time lows. Okay, so this is something really to be very, very um, focused on. As if it does break this 120-ish level, 121, 60-ish level and for, further breaks it down, we could see it correct further on the downside. Now, lastly, looking at the Aussie dollar, uh, we're at that support level, 66, 60-ish level, and boom, we just took it up on the uh, upside. There was a number that came out earlier this morning for the Australian dollar. So with that said, okay, this might be a decent place to actually enter it as it is closer to the bottom range of this trading range between 70, 38-ish level and 68, 60-ish level. So with that said, this actually might be a decent place, like I said, to uh, pick it up in the uh, anticipation that it's going to trade all the way back to the resistance level. Now, looking at the commodities, this is what I'm talking about. Uh, when we look at the gold, we see that it's setting up this wedge formation. OK, uh, usually this is an ascending. OK, um, in, in such an instance. So we may see a spike right here. Okay, that might actually close and we might get back to this 1450-ish level. So that's something to consider as that looks out today. Now, next, looking at the uh, oil. Um, now, this is a Fibonacci retrade and we had set up a while ago. Okay, let's, let's set it up on a weekly chart. Just uh, set it up nicely. There you go. Okay, and it's really, you know, from its highs to its lows, we're right there. Okay, in a choppy type of environment, we're right there. So if it does break above this $58, we could see it further uh, 
ascend to the 62-ish area, which is our next resistance level. But it is trading within that range. So just be aware of it, okay, that we are at the top of the range right here. So if it falters right here, it may correct itself on the downside. Now looking at the Dow Jones, this is what I'm talking about. It's really very choppy between 27,100 it's 27200 ish level and just really waiting the fed okay there's nothing else to say it i mean if we retrace today if the number comes out and you know they're very hawkish about you know future rate decisions we'll see a correction on the downside your go to support level is 2698 ish 900 ish level excuse me right there that would be somewhat of a support level. Um, if that gets breached, then surely the 27,000 level is your next support level, okay? So with that said, just keep an eye on this. And, you know, looking at Apple as it's trading close to its highs, okay? If we look at a weekly, it's it's not at its highs of 230, but it's very close to it, about $22 away from it. You know, this is something to consider if we do break above it and it does come out with stellar, um, a sales report for the quarter and then guides further higher going into the next quarter okay so that's something to consider as that continues to trade there on the upside this is fred razak want to wish everybody a great training day thank you